Well, another week and seemingly more changes with Evernote. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. We'll look at some of those changes and some things that are being planned. As you may know, I'm a certified Evernote expert. That means I'm in the loop and participate in regular calls uh, with company executives, but I don't work for Evernote, so I can speak openly and honestly about all things Evernote. Please subscribe. You won't miss any of these updates. Now, in a recent video, I walked you through the new slash command feature. It was launched as part of version 10.82.2. By typing a slash, you're presented with options to quickly do things. Here, take a look at this is the, the slash command. I said then that Evernote was likely to add more options, more shortcuts in the future. <laughs> well, that didn't take long. Now when you type slash, you can also create a new linked note. And that's great because I don't know about you, but I create a lot of links in my notes. Now in version 10.82 and uh, later versions, uh, it has a small update that will be helpful to you if you like to use arrows. If you type this, you'll get an arrow or this or even this. That's not a huge thing, but it saves you a couple of steps if you use arrows. Another change, collapsing headers, adds a little bit more organization to your Evernote notebooks. Evernote has also updated its help pages. Uh, I'm very impressed because it's a it's a much not only a much cleaner look, uh, but you can solve a lot more problems uh, by just going to their uh, help website. As you can see here, uh, there's a lot of different options for you to click on. So that's on Evernote's help page. Uh, so those are the things that are out there now. There are a couple of things in the works. The head of Evernote, Federico Simonato, posted on Twitter or X, whatever you're calling it these days, that they are testing the ability for us to add files to Evernote. That's a really interesting move because up to this point, uh, Evernote was note-based. Now you'll be able to use files. They're looking for your feedback. I suspect something like this is going to be rolled out very soon. Um, I, I let the jury out on this one. Uh, I'm not sure how many files I'll directly add to Evernote, but you know, I've kind of said that before about other things, and then once Evernote adds them, I, uh, I find that I use them a lot, but you know, they're thinking about your ability to not only you know, put your files in Evernote, but then search them quickly, uh, see a quick preview, uh, edit files. And uh, so you know, I, they've got a beta version out there right now. And I kind of like what I see, but I'll have to see how I use that application once it is released. Also, Evernote is planning on retooling the task feature, and I've done videos on that, but they're looking at uh, widening the, uh, the task section, which will make it visually more appealing, and arguably you'll be able to put more into the uh, task section. Uh, you're also going to be able to uh, group your tasks, at least that's what they're thinking about. That will be helpful if you want to keep track of tasks within projects. And you're going to also add uh, more descriptions. And here's the one that I really like about it. Uh, you're going to be able to declare priority. So up to this point in time, your options have been very simple. You can either flag something or you can't flag something. Uh, it's not been too helpful to me. And I have not been too impressed with the, uh, with the task feature up to this point in time. But if they really go forward with this, and again, they're testing it right now, I think this could make the task feature uh, more attractive. Uh, they are looking for our feedback on all of these things, and, and I will keep you posted as we uh, go along. Hey, speaking about updates, I recently posted updates on uh, recent Evernote changes into my course, Evernote for Beginners. The online course is not only really for new users of Evernote, but also for people who want to make sure they're using it to its fullest. Uh, and I keep adding updates to it. Uh, so, you know, as Evernote rolls out new features, you're going to be able to have access to it right from my course, Evernote for Beginners. You can find out more about the course at Dave Edwards Media. Just click on Courses, uh, and you will have access to all of the information to make sure that you're using 
Evernote most effectively.